is our newest president, Luke from Isola, and you can give her a big hand because she is a new president, and we all encourage you to get good. And for those of you who don't know, we should also introduce our deputy director, Nick, and a past president as well. Our former operations officer from our particular section, as, as we all know, everybody here does know, right? <laughs> Want to stand up and take a bow. And our chair, our particular director of our particular uh, the uh, Sustainability and Entrepreneurship Center is Sam from Sam. have to be something that impactful, but PR can be something that uh, in a big bang and that can go away. That's PR. Um, but one of the major CSR platform that I have uh, initiated for for Asia and Asia Group has brought about sustainability mindset for myself. So I sort of transformed from a PR person to communicator and at uh, at present, I could say I'm a sustainability practitioner and communication practitioner by passion and profession. So today is about communications and sustainability. Sustainability is something that we have to talk about in order to build sustainability. You have to talk about sustainability to build sustainability. And the sustainability itself is something that not easy to talk, not easy to understand. So can anybody give me an example? What sustainability? Oh, I shouldn't ask this question in this room, <laughs> but I normally ask this question in the, for the floor because people would say sustainability is about uh, being green, being good, uh, waste segregation, recycling, and all that stuff. But to me. I put sustainability in five steps. In Thai, Gang, Soi, Ruai, Di, Kambang. This part in Thai, personally, Gang, you have to be smart. So you have to be, you have to feel the, you have to feel the value in yourself, and you know how to make money with your own proficiency, capability, whatsoever, and you know how to make yourself. Look attractive. Attractive doesn't mean that you have to be beautiful like Yaya, but you you can uh, not not everyone can be Yaya, but you can look good. <laughs> but looking good doesn't have to be just your personality, but mean your brain, your uh, your uh, your brain, your productivity, and then you can make money out out of it. And for D, ecological means you do something regardless what religion you are holding. Uh, do something that's good to yourself, good for others, good for greater good, and not bad for anyone else. 
and for Pang Rang in healthy. So it, uh, gain innovative efficiency work of you feel worthy, you feel sufficient, and you have uh, profit in, in your life, you feel uh, ecological and healthy. And at the same time, this is personal level. What about corporate level? Reciprocal. Same thing. When you are listed in the stock exchange, or even you are doing your own business, you have to be innovative. You have to deliver efficiency for your business to be sustainable. And you have to be attractive. Attractive for who? For your customer, your consumer, your partners, your uh, communities, your investors. You have to be attractive for them, for them to put your, their money in for you to sustain uh, longer. You have to be profit profitable. You have to grow. You have to sustain yourself. And you have to be responsible as a company. And for campground or healthy, as a company, you have to be responsible. Air Asia is one of the, uh, just now I had a question, do I engage this public talk, this kind of talk too often? I said yes, especially after COVID because people want to know how can Asia survive and how are we surviving during this process. So my voice during uh, the COVID, I, 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 taught, I shouted out that COVID is just like DJSI platform. It's like the JSI uh, checklist, but they check you for real. You die or you you, you die or you survive. But the JSI is just for the reward or for the paper. But whatever I, I, I during my work from home time, I reread the JSI checklist and questionnaire that I did for Asia Group two years ago, and every question they ask. Is actually what COVID is asking, but in a meaner way, in a more difficult way. But uh, if you go back to read your DJSI book, it's the same. So resilience is the word for being healthy as a company. And why am I really into sustainability? I, I, I have a belief, I have my own passion, I feel. Uh, if one transform, if one understand my thing, so already can bear. And if you, as an individual, they will feel more valuable, they will feel more happy, and they will deliver things efficiently and happily in a more successful way. So is it, as a company, you would like to have this kind of person again, so already can learn in your company, in your organization. So everyone, if everyone is like this, ideally, the organization will be transformed. And if the organization is transformed, it, the sustainability for greater good. This is my sort of belief that I'm holding. So uh, whoever asks me to speak about sustainability, I will be very happy and willing to do so because of this. It's my passion. Give me back to communications. Just now was sort of uh, my own concept of sustainability. For brand, value proposition, brand, marketing, uh, marketing uh, unique selling point is at the great box. It's the value that your company or your organization or even yourself as a brand, as a personal brand, want to offer to anyone. When you do, uh, as a startup, uh, we have to measure ourselves, who are we, why we are in the market, who are our customers. We have to identify who are our customers. We have to get that insight, what do our customers need and want, and why do they need us. And this is sort of the canvas when we want to do startups or any businesses. But then when we take into consideration the framework of sustainability, we have to take into consideration impact, risk, impact that we have created, positively, negatively, to social, uh, environmental, economy, good and bad. Risk, the risk that we are facing, the risk that we are creating, 
opportunities, trends, challenge, and drivers. So we, when we take into consider consideration this canvas, we will have value proposition. Asia has been uh, revamped, redefined, so, uh, a mini rebrand. We cannot call it rebrand right now because we have very, very limited budget at the moment. <laughs> we, we diversify our portfolio. We are not just an airline. This has been in the five year plan for, for more than four, uh, three years ago that we want to be more than an airline. We will have a world logistics service called Teleport. We will have a fintech uh, company and we will have a digital company and also we have lifestyle company. So we diversify our portfolio and we design the tagline to Asia for everyone, not Asia now everyone can fly. Because we be a lifestyle platform, just happen to have an airplane. So we are, we are <clears throat> we just launched this campaign last week that we want to be we used to be disruptive ally leader and we are changing to disruptive lifestyle leader. So in the sense of being sustainable, we know that with COVID, being on an airline alone, we won't be survived. So we extend portfolio. Again, this is the five years plan three years later. Just that it, ha it, it didn't happen far enough or fast enough for us to survive better. So we are being hit very hardly on, on the airline industry itself. Airline, we will choose to be a super app if you are an Asia user, application user, we change to local. So this on this platform, on Asia platform or Asia application on a mobile, you'll be able to book activities, just like group deals. Even uh, nail polish also available on Asia apps. And lifestyle destination will be included in the super app of Asia. And the tagline is really important. Uh, now everyone can fly has been changed for everyone. Uh, it's not a good time to rebrand because we don't have money. But if we are in we are in the position to do a rebrand, you'll be bombarded with this uh, TV commercial or any logo or any tagline. I'm pretty certain. Talking about sustainability from the perspective of brand beauty. This has been communicated inside the company and also outside the company to explain what sustainability means to everyone in the company and external as the stakeholders. Starting from our people, we say everybody in the company and the process is a key part of building sustainability for Asia. The first one is our people, we build our culture. The second one, the graph there, is the graph that the pilots, they perform what we call green fire operation procedures. Meaning, this kind of procedures will help save the environment. We will, uh, they have special landing uh, or take off. They have to do more work in order to do green fire operation procedure, but they save the world. They save uh, uh, fuel and they save carbon emissions. So in the past, like last year, the pilot managed to save 130 million baht by doing this scheme. So when we communicate with the pilot, they say, you are not only saving the money of the company, you are saving the world. And they will have the green uh, pin that they fly green. And then the second one, this is a software. Software of the pilot. And the second one is the hardware. Our aircraft is green aircraft. We use Airbus AG20 Neo. So we less pollution, less noise. And then we have safety. We have QA. And we do waste management. For waste management at Asia, we do recycling on board. And we also do waste segregation. If we do not think for Asia for the peak time, 
there will be one ton of waste to landfill per day if we do nothing. So we know that the impact that we have created is quite a lot. And then commercial, those commercial people or marketing people don't really understand what sustainability is. I use this one to explain. You are the core of sustainability. You are the one who get money for us. And for the company to be sustainable, we need money. And for marketing and sales, you are bringing money as a lot for the company. So we involve them in the process. And then customer journey, we use this one to explain that the core business of AirAsia, we need to understand customer journey and how to improve product and service to maintain customer loyalty to the company. And then the rest is the, uh, Asia is the only one airline listed in Thailand's sustainability investment for stock exchange. <laughs> uh, Sorry, I yes. have a question to the previous one. I'm not sure if I can disrupt you. But yes, I, sure. I want to ask, uh, what's, what I can do as a customer to be part of your uh, of your chain or this sustainable way to loop. I mean like do you think like if I turn up on time to the airport or how can I actually participate to bring something additional as a customer to help you and help myself? To and, and add value to sustainable value share you mean? Yes and be, be part of this loop. Very good question. <laughs> how? Because one of the uh, one of the picture that was a customer journey, so like, yes, I yes, want to yes, know, yes. Like, if, for example, if I show up on time, or I don't know, I will not bring uh, <laughs> okay. plastic bottles or something. How can I participate as a customer? You you, you can participate many many. You can uh, engage. You can be engaged many in many what do you call activities. The first thing when you book, you book online. So we save paper. And then when uh, when you check in, you check in online, so you don't have to reprint. You can use your applica uh, mobile application to show at the airport. And uh, for your luggage, if you don't bring the luggage, it's mean less fuel will be consumed, mm -hmm. but less money will get. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to balance <laughs> because we sell everything, right? <laughs> and uh, what else? On time, if you don't arrive on time, we don't wait for you anyway. <laughs> and uh, what else? Yeah, for, and another thing is that we also have some community based tourism for you to join. Uh, it's the platform, social impact, uh, social investment platform that Asia has been created. It's called Journey D or the Journey of Development. If you involve, uh, this lady over there from Taiwan, she joined, uh, she joined my trip once. Uh, uh, in, in, in Chiang Mai, Chiang Mai. So this kind of thing you can contribute even more. Thank you for your question. Yes. Uh, uh, are you looking to expand this um, community-based tourism destination? Yes, but not but not this year. We don't have money. Is it the plan? I, I share you like that. So uh, so let's make it this way. We can. Uh, do Q&A along the session. So, um, I like the original question as customers, um, what we can do. And uh, you've shown us how you get to each station. And I think when you have your flight and things like food and how you spend the time and your policy, it's also a way of promoting sustainability. And your brand, you know, ALGS uh, new change. I think that would be very good. And thank you for the first question. <laughs> thank you for your input. Uh, another thing is the food for Asia. I forgot. It's pre-booked, and it's also pre. We have food to sell on board, and we do forecast, which means we will have less food waste. Coming back to the brand, in order to build brand, uh, in order to build brand reputation, we have targeted stakeholders that we want to talk to them. We cannot be everything for everyone. If we try to be everything for everyone, we be nothing for them. So we try to position ourselves to be whatever that we want to be, 
For example, I have put in some stakeholders that we want to communicate, partners, community, investor, employee, uh, and customers. So everyone will be communicated, sort of same message, but different platform and different uh, tailor-made message and tailor-made angle, for example, for employee. We have uh, internal culture that has been localized from the marker brand Asia as a group to Asia Thailand we have Seesaw, Sanu, Satai, Sapan, San San, Yang Yu. Sanu, fun. At Asia we very fun, loving. We, we can still laugh in in this situation <laughs> in, in this in this crisis. And uh, we can still uh, we can always laugh and party really hard. If you know my CEO, my chairman, the can drink until 7 a.m. in the morning and <laughs> can still work. And then style, style mean we have different species. We have different kinds of people working together from the ramp agent who taking care of your luggage, who drive the cars, to the pilot, to the, self, uh, the, to the check-in staff, uh, cabin crew, for, for other airlines. The ramp agent might not be able to be close to the pilot because of the ramp. But at AirShare, we are we, we, we teach our people that no matter how high you are, the pilot, the aircraft cannot return or cannot uh, get back themselves. You need to use the ramp board to push back your aircraft. So they are talking together, and uh, at AirAsia, the pilot will, will send some thank you notes to to ram agent when the ram agent can help them file some some safety concern stuff that uh, would be notified before the flight. Or engineer, aircraft license engineer and the pilot they always fight in the past. On ground found normal. If anything happened on the flight is not engineer's fault because on ground is normal. So, but it's safety concern is the core business of the, the, the company. With this culture, pilot and, uh, and, 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 and engineer are in talk and in line group, and head of engineer are responsible to reply every single message at the first time. So they gain trust. They even help the pilot to uh, invent sun shade for the pilot when they fly. So a special little care that uh, bring them together. Snook Satai, Samhan is uh, we are living as a family. And the last one is creativity, being creative and being sustainable. We have been creative since day one, but we don't know the word sustainability since day one. But if we want to grow like SCT 100 years, we feel we have to think twice, we have to think more thoroughly. Because in the past, we uh, always uh, do quick fix later, meaning we can fall and then we can, we are just like startup when, when we started. But it might not be working at the size of the company, so we have to be a little bit slower, but not that slow. Uh, I was talking about this already. Is the uh, this one we explain in the company and also the company the customer journey and also this chart is being represented as the on-time performance chart. What is on-time performance? On-time performance is the key KPI of the company to deliver to the customer. You when you when you are flying with the AirAsia, you can be guaranteed that it be on time. So everyone has to be working seamlessly. One minute count. We have 25 minutes uh, turnaround time on ground, and everybody have to work according to whatever they have to work. And when flight is delayed, we have delayed call. It's not for flying fault, but for flight solutions. What, uh, what, which part of the loop is causing the delay? So we will fix that loop. Customer brand. Again, we need to do. We need to know customer journey for as a customer. How you book? Before you book, how you search for your information to book? What kind of website? What kind of page you visit before you book? And you book on your our application on website, or you booked on other OTA? 
we try to be OTA with Apple. So we encourage people to book our own website and application. So we try to, uh, to bring the, low, the lowest cost, the lowest fare with our application. And when you book, what kind of your choice of booking? I mean, what kind of destination you like? What, what, what is the preferred time? And we have gathered big database. And then after this, for commercial, they can use this big database to retarget when we resell the product. So we don't have to talk to everyone. We talk to the one that will buy our service again. And we can save money on uh, advertising. And at the same time, when you book, you, before you bought, we will send you notification on how to check in online so you can save time and you, uh, you can go to the gate without doing anything if you don't have luggage to check in. Uh, I have a question. Do you, uh, do you, what is the criteria, the first criteria, no, what is the process that people have, what is the attribute process that people have, uh, think is most important for airline to service them? The first one is check-in. The second one is onboard. The third one is luggage claim. The fourth one is booking. What attribute do you think customer would give importance as the first rank? Booking? On board. On board. On board. Anyone else? Check in. Who? Who means check in? It's check in. Check in and boarding as a group with ground staff. So they give importance attributes on engagement with our ground staff. So you will see later after we use Nadia for some time, we tend to use our ground staff as a presenter as we want to address this because a uh, passenger would give importance of being engaged with brown staff. Uh, on board, on board, we have quite good score on, on customer satisfaction on board. Food and other services and also safety. And then on ground, when you disembark the aircraft, if your, if your luggage comes, uh, job done. If, if your luggage doesn't come, it's uh, the job created. So we have to send it back to your hotel and it will add the cost of the company too because we have to be responsible for the luggage. We use this customer journey. We use the sale way, we use the studies and then we have to increase product quality and increase service quality in order to maintain customer loyalty. And at the same time, we have to use communications internally to build our people to deliver service and product and communicate to our customers. For example, we always have these two kind of material, promotion and branding. Promotion is a tactical campaign that we, we, we launch every week to get people to book our ticket in advance. And for branding, it depends on the theme that we use every year. Last year, last year we used the theme uh, Asia Cares as a branding. This one we use when we try to educate people to do self check in before COVID. Thank <laughs> you. 
um, Agile care is different than other allies' care. Our care is mean efficiency. And behind efficiency, we have to care for our service, to care for safety and stuff. So we try to use this campaign to communicate what, uh, why Agile cares and what, what cares function that we do. We use this one. how we increase products and service and how do we do the promo and rewards 
to maintain the customer. So this one we have to communicate with uh, our investors. Community and final brand, the last part that I'm talking about. Journey D. Journey D is the extended version of sustainability from AirAsia. It's social investment platform. Journey D stands for the journey of development. It's come to this notion that we have created opportunities. We have created connectivities, economic growth, tourism growth, uh, all the good things. And at the same time, we have been creating risk for us and for the greater good, emissions, consumption and waste, and also over tourism, and a responsible tourism sometimes. So taking into consideration of this, uh, remember that four pillar of value proposition. And she is trying to address this issue and want to do anything to build sustainable tourism or responsible tourism because we are the we believe we are the big player of this industry. If we do things, we can uh, populate whoever that asks our stakeholder to drive this together at the same time. So the goal of Journey is to promote responsible tourism and sustainable tourism. And our mission is to educate our stakeholders on responsible tourism and to sustain and preserve Air Asia destination and enhance local uh, attractions. And at the same time, we connect communities with organization and expertise to enhance their livelihood and well-being. So we have selected four communities four years ago at the pilot project. And as of now, we have, uh, last year we have, last this year, we have uh, 12 more communities. But because of COVID, we've been connecting with them through line and Zoom. So for the first communities, we have Khani Chiang Rai, Phuk Meng Buri Lam, Kok Lam Gadi, Phuk Long Nakhon Si Kamara. Three or four years ago in Khani, only one coffee shop and uh, no homestay. And then now we have now we have ten homestay with the help of Era One Group. So we engage Era One Group to help uh, giving some advice to the communities how to do uh, on, on hygiene, on how to receive and to check in, check out the guests, and how to clean the house in a five star standard. We engage our staff from all over the world to see Journey community. And during my time as a group head of sustainability for Asia Group, uh, Journey has been escalated to the regional level in Indonesia, Lombok, and also in Malaysia, in Langawi. We bring our doctors, our captains who are also doctors. They want to, 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 to give back to society, so we bring them to the community and give the first aid knowledge to the community. And this is the Akha swing in Chiang Rai. The Akha swing on my right hand side, the Akha, the Akha swing has everything but safety. So when, when, you, when, when you play and you fall down, it's really something. So we bring our aircraft engineer. Licensed aircraft engineer who usually sign the aircraft for you before you fly. Uh, we bring them to the community and give them this task, how to make the swing safer for the community. So uh, the, the engineers, they work very hard there. They don't talk to anybody. Uh, normally, engineer doesn't don't like to talk to enemy and bring easy thing to difficult thing is their strength, right? Uh, and then they come back and they even make it harder bringing the auto cat stuff and they don't talk to anyone and then they deliver as a safer akasmi. The only thing I understand is that they have safety manual and when the villagers scan, you will know how to take care of this akasmi, just like how we take care of the aircraft. And they, they put in some brakes and whatever, they try to make it more complicated and uh, it's safe. We've been uh, 
chef to make the food, the local food, more Instagrammable. So when people go to the community, the food is nice, they take photos, and then it's just like an invitation part for other people to come to experience the food and the trip. We work with communities, designers, and also the marketers of Air Asia who know what kind of product that Asia customer would buy. So it's a triangle. The demand, uh, the demand and insight from customers, the supply from the communities that have to be their own uh, uniqueness, and then the designer. So we would make sure that this, uh, this stuff is sellable. And we have created a platform for JourneyD for anybody to go to book as a package. And also now JourneyD is available on Asia.com as a tour package. This is some facts and figures for last year that we have done for the four communities. And this is for the first year that we have accounted for uh, some figures that we have been created in, in, in the communities. And this is the second year for four communities. And also, the food that we just had for lunch, it just happened to be from our partner, Local Alloy. Local Alloy is our first partner when we, do, when we go to community to do community uh, development. And then for, after some time when the food is ready, we bring the food to Bangkok and serve as a table, chef table. And during the COVID time, it became Local Alloy delivery. So it's been the, I don't know who ordered the food, but it, it, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is another example of our social enterprise partner. Uh, we have local alike, and we have Five Fork. Five Fork is like a kit from, from local alike and AirAsia. Five Fork has been working for AirAsia to help with the community development. And during COVID, they don't have any tours. They don't have any income. So they transform themselves to be the middleman, bringing food from food and uh, fruits from, from from communities, and use the tourist van to dispatch to deliver the food. And it was very successful. It's 20 tons during COVID. And now when Asia resume five operations the transfer with Asia's flight. And at Asia, we also have created a platform called Our Market during, during uh, post-COVID. The Our Market is a platform just like T, uh, Jula Marketplace, but it's the marketplace that we match with our uh, community products, staff products, and we use our own sale, uh, riders who are the Rams agent or even pilots who has been registered to be our riders to send uh, product to a uh, door-to-door -door product. This is the rider that have been registered. Now we have 300 riders registered with our, uh, our market. And my job now is to find job for these riders. So I've been in touch with uh, SCD Robin Hood, SCD Logistics, so we can uh, sort of collaborate to use our uh, men to deliver, deliver the products. After, the, <clears throat> after we make sure that journey has been sustainable, we promote. We have the aircraft called painted as Prekaikobindaya, we have a rapid job, everyone can fly this one city. And we also have uh, been working with Ministry of Land Affairs. We have two aircraft. Sustainable accessories. And we have this TV commercial, a short one, on Journey E.
ครับนี่คือโปรโมชั่นของแอร์เอเชียเพื่อส่งเสริมการท่องเที่ยวฟรีตัวที่ดิบเทียบคุณไปเที่ยวแหลกชุมชนใดชุมชนหนึ่งตามต่อไปนี้ฮาเอ๋ข้อเมืองก็กล้างคมโลกโดยมีกติกาตามต่อไปนี้หนึ่งต้องพัดสถานที่หนึ่งต้องพักที่สถานที่สถานที่นั้นเกินสองวันถึงคืนสองต้องร่วมกับต้องต้องต้องร่วมต้องร่วมกิจกรรมกับจุ้งจุ้งสามอันที่ได้รับมอบหมายสามสามสเราไม่สามารถทำอะไรได้ 
to the staff. They didn't let go anyone. We still have everyone with us, but we have the cost cutting, so uh, it's probably without pay, but it's longer and longer. So um, uh, the management has to communicate with the, the staff. And then for the return period, we have to gain back the confidence for people to come back to fly with us in terms of safety, security, and uh, how safe it is to fly. So we, we educate the market that we have HEPA filter on the aircraft, on every aircraft of AirAsia have HEPA filter. For the, the flight from Wuhan, there was one who got infected, but we didn't know she, he or she passed the swab test, but after landing, it positive. But she, uh, she was wearing the mask, and on the aircraft got HEPA filter, meaning the whole four hours sitting together with the aircraft, uh, the mask on was safe. It was an assumption. And so we tried to educate uh, the public on this. And in terms of commercial, we couldn't, we couldn't sell uh, food and beverages on the first few months. So we bring it on ground and we use our riders. We use our ram guys to deliver the milk tea and also food. And we do actual unlimited cast or buffet. So this one is not a revenue exercise is to taste the market, taste the water when the people want to fly. If you remember the first unlockdown week, people go to Pattaya, Pattaya Tech. People go to Ayutthaya, and the second week they go further to Hua Hin and Khao Yai. And the third week when we launch Asia Buffet, they fly. So uh, it really tasted, uh, it really proved that people have, still have to demand flying. And the third one, uh, the fourth and fifth one is the reimagination re and reform. As I mentioned earlier, we have this diversification process four years ago on Azure.com to be everything, to be lifetime portal, and teleport to be something like curry, but with our own aircraft. And for too money and big pay, it's just a like rapid pay. And the uh, last part is lifetime entertainment on uh, like Lazada for the, the last part. Um, so for sustainability, I would end up with this cost. Sustainability uh, for a ship financial officer, it's not, he, he not, he's not always a good friend with people who do SCSR, right? CFO, CFO and CSR practitioner. Mm -hmm. Because he will cut the budget when we are not in a wealthy position. But hard for sustainability could be not there. It's involved in capability building. If you can build your own people, you select your own people to work innovatively, efficiently, this is the first step of sustainability. The second part is implementation. If you, uh, implementation for AirShare, for example, uh, is the implementation of pilot flying green uh, procedures. It's not that hard. It, it, it saves money. It doesn't use money. But it's the way of building people to implement. But the third one, there's no cost at all, is the cost of leadership. For leaders who involve in sustainability, I would say there are three kinds of leaders. The first leaders uh, is the leaders who know sustainability is just CSR, it's good and green, it's not for now. Uh, the second one is sustainability means something related to stock market and you have to do to look good, in order to look good and to put some cosmetic on your face. And the third one is the leaders who know sustainability equal efficiency. And I wish the leaders in this room to be the third one. Thank you. Thank you so much, Captain Hoffa. So, uh, right after this, we have a quick question or comments. Anyone? Okay. Um, you really inspired a lot of thoughts about um, sustainable tourism and. Um, I was wondering about the food that you sell. Um, do you um, use the food produced in these communities that where you base your community-based tourism, or uh, do you have any plans in the future for? Uh, in the future, yes. But then, yeah. In the future, yes. 
but it's now the process of their own product, pro, uh, products, what is not quality, it's quantity. They still can only produce for local online. And maybe it's efficient for them, efficient and effective for them to, as of now, deliver their service and product to local online, which we also uh, support. But if we want to scale them up, I would say it can be some promotional campaign, but it cannot be for the whole airline. Because the, the, the process of making food on the air, for the aircraft consumption is something huge for them and for us too, to escalate them to, to meet the standard. But there are some chains that already exist, um, maybe you know, just get connected to them as well, that are, uh, they, they've been working on sustainability and social enterprise and like all this uh, health issues and everything together. Like we were discussing earlier at the table about uh, some plan model and uh, their um, configuration of PGSs. And there are, you know, a lot of networks that, you know, you can tap into. Yeah, yeah, thank you for your comments. Yeah. And then what, we'll work on that in the future. Yeah, because you, you, you are one of the leaders that can really make huge impact in this area. Thank you, thank you. Well, if not, uh, may I ask a question? <laughs> so I wondered, like, I'm really impressed um, the, the way that you showed the display about Asia Care, about the safety, like, uh, you have localized the communication to your audience and or like the customers. I would like, I, I wonder like, because uh, um, the way that you made it like um, in a very uh, simple and easy way, like a singer. And um, I wonder whether it is uh, implied or implemented with other um, uh, uh, different region, like Southern or Northern part, because it is represent uh, that you show is you mean the TBC? Uh, yeah, 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 the one with the, the singer like uh, because it's the northeastern style mm -hmm. so the northeastern uh, like the that you show Air Asia Care Yeah, it's that not project. northeastern, that one is central uh, uh, okay. the, the singer about the um, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Sorry, <laughs> uh, so it's only central. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Not for other regions. Mm. It's very expensive. <laughs> 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 they use Kusala. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. So, uh, so you want to announce next week? Ah, okay. So uh, if there's no uh, question or comment, uh, I would like to... Uh, <laughs> So part of your theme is about both sustainability and communication, and one of the stakeholders that you mentioned or groups is uh, your own internal employees. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your journey in communicating sustainability so that your own organization could understand what it is and why it's important, and especially for folks who, who didn't get it before? Long story. <laughs> That's another session. <laughs> if you want to engage, uh, uh, you have you have to engage upper, uh, your own level, and also lower. So uh, the upper is the most important part. If you don't get the tone from the top, if I were the person, I change the job because it's impossible to for you to work if you don't get tone from the top of sustainability. Uh, but if you manage to get Tony from the top, how can you get Tony from the top? For me, to get Tony from the days, the slide that changed my life, I, um, I have an idea just to... The hidden agenda is that I want to preserve Journey D. So I want to bring Journey D to the board meeting. And in order to preserve Journey D, I need to form a sustainability committee to govern Journey D. So the first slide that I show to Tony, I say, uh, Tony and everybody, forget about being good and green. Sustainability is about how to make Asia to be number one in the market for the next 10 years or even 100 years from now. 
and then a slot in journey e at the last last slide. So the first part will be about investor, about uh, innovation, and all that. So then when I get Tony, uh, I don't know, bad luck or good luck, he appointed me to be the first group head of sustainability for Asia Group, which I know nothing except journey D. I didn't know sustainability DJ side what was over. I know it later on. So after I get Tony sort of, and then he didn't really understand. But I tried to engage all CEO of Asia in every country. Uh, soft skill, hard skill, uh, leg uh, leg release, and also on sustainability journey. And then when you get the buy-in from the top, and then get the buy-in from the the same level of me. And then uh, for other staff, they do the roadshow and get them involved. How to get them involved? Give them KPI on sustainability, but you also have to work with HR to give some KPI and reward on sustainability. Wow. Very interesting. Thank you so much. Wow. So, um, are there any other questions or comments? If not, uh, please um, let me ask Kun San to uh, give the certificate to Kun Papa. Uh, thank you very much for today. And give a big applause to Kun Papa.